Anyway, oh my god. Canine puberty in an instant. Only available on a Nintendo GameCube. Buy one today. Alright, I guess I'll have to help you, so. This is the last of the Twilight. I had to become so fond of seeing it covered in this world. <laughs> or is it really the last you'll see? Oh, though, breaking the fourth shadow. Breaking the fourth shadow? You're kidding me. So here we've got shadow keys. I don't think we've gone into these particular brand of keys, but these are shadow keys. Uh, we might have. I just forgot. <laughs> but we don't really have to kill them. We can actually probably just skip most of this. And unfortunately, I wish I could pick up items because we're really low on arrows. I don't like being low on them. Despite not being able to use them, I still don't like being unable to use them. So... Uh, die. There we go. We don't have to kill these guys anyway. There's absolutely no reason for us to. So we're going to continue over here. And oh my god. What the? What is that? It's a, it's a weird fanny pack. Let's go check it out. And with that. Oh my god. Wow. That was really close to our lady parts. Wait. Oh my god. It's Ilya. But Allison, can you at least promise me this? <laughs> Just come home safely. And don't do anything out of your lead. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and forget the youth sent and learn a new spell. I thought that was always funny. Like when they did that in Pokemon and stuff. is like, forget this thing and learn this one. Okay, because of course we have to make room in our brain for more than one scent. So we learned the scent of Ilya. Great. And the fact that it's pink and the fact it was so close to her lady genitals makes me kind of wonder what it smells like. And what Midna says here especially. You smell the girl, don't you? I can tell by the look on your face. <laughs> it's another clue then. But this scent could be quite old. That's just... I don't know. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, that's just kind of funny. I don't know. It's, it's probably just my dirty ass mind. But even though I don't normally think like dirty thoughts or anything about people in particular, it's just, it's just when people have to like point it out and then you have no choice other than to think of it in the dirtiest way possible but we're gonna skip all these people because there's really no reason for us to be over here and this is actually kind of a large area to transverse and considering we're a wolf and in the twilight realm as per prior experience you'll notice that we have not really been able to explore much of the world at hand as it was in twilight so we're gonna have to wait until we're human like before we do much more exploration so hey haven't we seen this castle before yes we have you transported us there once and good times were had although we saw no high lane checks that sucks so we finally made it back here a little further so hang in there so i'd like to say but the going's a lot harder from here on out all right then let's get started yes let us get started for our journey is only getting started unfortunately but we're going to continue on heading over here. And basically, we're just running through this part. There's there's some stuff, like, and by some stuff, I just mean, like, pointing out things where we could do eventually. But since we have no bombs, no arrows, and the such, there's not really much I can say about what we can do here. So, uh, he's got fire arrows now. Wow, I actually dodged that. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, I guess we'll do that. Whoa, Link, that was a very nice, like, final growl. <laughs> Did I get hurt? No, I didn't. Wow, I'm, oh, there they are. <laughs> Don't get your buddies there. Oh, wow. Yes, dual death animations again for the win. God, do, there's just something about dual death animations that are just so awesome. And just killing these people off as wolves is just really fun. Except for the fact when you knock them down, we can't hit them when they're down. I mean, of course, Nintendo has to put logic in their games and dictate, hey, you can't punch people when they're down. That would make this game too easy. You have to make them invincible or else you will win the game too fast. As if Nintendo games weren't already easy enough. Like... I hate sounding like the difficulty horror, but these games aren't... I don't know, it's probably because I've been gaming since literally I was three years old. Like, my on my third birthday, I remember it was... I already... I think I explained this actually in Eternal Sonata when my entire recording got screwed over. You guys remember that part. But I was explaining that on my third birthday, it was Toy Story themed because it was 1995. And that's when Toy Story 1 came out. And I guess as a child, I really liked that. But also, I got a um, SNES and... Uh, I got Super Mar like Super Mario All Stars and uh, um, Killer Instinct, believe it or not. And I was pretty much the shit at those, and I've been gaming pretty much ever since. I hate to sound like that guy, like, oh, I'm an older gamer, man. I'm so good. But, like, I'm not like bad at games. Like, there are some games where I perform less than amicable, but that's only because the only times you guys you really see me play is when I'm LPing. And of course, as you guys know, there is like a certain level of dedication has to be, you know, devoted towards commentating, making interesting commentating thoughts, and then thinking about the game, and then, as well as playing, so you have to be playing and talking at the same time, and anyone who's LP'd knows that can kind of be a little troublesome, um, not at all times, because sometimes the words will just come to you, but there are times where you just have to think and make sure what you're saying is making sense, but for me, that's a little bit of a problem, considering 
I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. In case you guys didn't already know this, also, I'm pretty much. And when I say pretty much, I, I kind of make the. I, I use the term loosely, but English is a second language for me. I grew up with Spanish and English, but it was a predominantly speaking Spanish home I grew up in because my dad was from Southern America, and my mom had um her mom was uh, from Mexico, so I was actually I'm actually am part Mexican. But if you guys can already tell that because of my. Uh, name, you know, Cruz, you'd have to assume I'd have some Spanish heritage inside of me, and of course, I, I like, like, the name Cruz, like, it's kind of cool, it's just kind of annoying when other people have the same name as me, because people are like, oh my god, are you guys, like, related? Or when people ask me if I'm related to Tom Cruise, I'm like, dude, that's two completely different spellings, but it's kind of funny, because he was born, like, the day, uh, like, on my mom's birthday, just, like, ten years before or something, or something, like, or maybe a year before, so he was born on July 3rd, so was my mom. So, I don't know. So, with that, we are in um, Hyrule Castle. Well, not in Hyrule Castle, obviously, but there's a ton of running around. So, here we are. Hyrule Castle Town. Okay. If that was not, uh, you know, a very, I don't know, uninspired name, then I don't know what it is. And, hey, we've got the Triforce here, man. Rome is not burning any longer. Let's continue, shall we? Let us continue. I'm listening to Dog Days Are Over. This is the perfect song. It could be Wolf Days Are Over. So, this is actually quite a bustling town. Most of the people we can't talk to because, as of right now, we're listening to them only. So, hey, so did you hear it? They said that a Zora child collapsed near here. Zora children? I thought Zoras were typically found up north, right? I wonder why one came here. Um, well, I heard he was taken to the bar on the other side of the southern road. We might want to check that out because the text has been readed there where we want to go, so. The bar? You mean Telma's place? Hmm, she's got a rough. Hmm. You got that right. So if we try and follow this, there's not really... It kind of leads us in a misleading direction because we don't really have to go in the direction where it's telling us. And I already know where we do have to go. So we're going to want to go ahead and uh, just follow it just for the sake of this LP so you guys know what we're talking about. And there's some other people we can talk to around here. Uh, right over here, we've got these people. Hey, wait a second. What's this going on with the water lately? I don't know why you're hassling me about this. The only reason for there has to be a water source here if something's happened at the town's water source, Hylea, Lake Hylea. If you already know what the problem is, then what are you still doing here? Well, uh, it might be the case, but Lake Hylea is under the jurisdiction of Eastern Hyrule, so we don't have to worry about it, even though our entire life depends on it. Ah, good for nothing. Okay, so we're going to head down here. I think there's only one more person we can listen to. Let's go see over here. The fact that we can't take a bath because of the water outage, that's a big deal. I think it's fine. It's not like you smell. It doesn't bother me. Well, maybe it doesn't bother you, but you're the one who stinks! Oh, God. And then we won't be able to talk to much more of these people, so we're going to head over here to where it's telling us to go. And it's not like, like I, like they said, we're going to take the southern road in order to get to where we have to go, but if we head over here, we're just going to follow it a little bit. And over here, can't go in there, but it looks like she already left out there, so kind of interesting we can maybe she had to use you know the bathroom and then come over this way so let's continue on following the scent the pink scent it's a weird pink scent it always reminds me of the mask of odors in uh, Majora's Mask which is kind of funny but so here we are on south road now once we head over here we're just gonna keep on following let's listen to these youngsters I uh, said so listen to the babies I heard a boy passed out winged whale <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what a pointless conversation why not back it up with something, some useful conversation? I mean, at least elaborate. Here we've got a Goron merchant. I have a limited supply of hot spring water. The race goes to the swift, as it is said. <laughs> That's so funny. And then we've got a Goron baby here, Goron children. No pushing. If you want hot spring water, form one line. Okay, who are you talking to again exactly? Can you please enlighten me as to who you are directing your voice to? And here, that's what this says. I said, let's see what this says. Telma's bar open. Okay, so it looks like uh, Ilya went into a bar. It looks like the age of consent is 16 here. We're not in Canada, but this will do. Oh, man. I don't think even any Canadians even watch this. <laughs> so over here. Oh, my. Oh, my God. It's it's Ilya. And she's okay. Wow. And wow. A big breast elf lady. And here we've got the Zora child apparently passed out. This boy. Can you save him? All right, little lady, just try to calm down, okay? I just now sent for the doctor. But this is strange. A child of the Zoras. I wonder if this is at all related to the incident the soldiers were talking about in back. Hmm. <laughs> nice close-up there of Link's face. Oh, what an emotional reunion. Yes, a girl and her wolf. Sorry, but you know how it goes. These folks can't see you either. 
that sucks. Well, they were talking about, well, it looks like they won't be able to be able to know about us here. Even if we, like, wrote our name in, like, some sand or something, we're like, hey, we're over here. Nope, Nintendo logic. Let's head over here and talk to these soldiers. We've had a ton of complaints from citizens who can't send prayers to the spirits. It's the spring spirit of Lake Hylia. Oh, great. Here we are bringing religion into a Nintendo game. Great. Go there. The location is the one I showed you on the map earlier. Got it? Uh... <laughs> What? Study it and know it well, for it will be your friend, for this map is yours, and this map is only yours. So we're going to go ahead and uh, inspect the map. Map, map, map. And with that, ooh, we're going to want to head over here. I've received orders from above to investigate why we can't go to the Spirit Spring and Lake Hylia. Got that? Uh, sure. Got it. Uh, so we're going to have to head over there eventually, which means that we have to go back out to Hyrule Field. And the Lanairu, I want to say Lanairu, because, like, you want to say La and then... Well, then, nay, but then some people pronounce it nai. I don't know. Lanayru province. Well, well, we'll get into the habit of calling it Lanayru because I'm pretty sure that is correct. But you need to inspect that in order to get it on your map. And I'm pretty sure we need to get it on our map in order to advance. So, there's that. That kind of took me a while to figure out my first time, unfortunately, which is kind of weird. But So, now that we're there, we're going to want to go ahead and leave. Uh, not that way. We're going to want to go up these stairs, and this is such a weird camera angle. I really did that. Was that really necessary? So we're going to want to head up back to the square over here. As you can tell, this is that circular fountain area, and of course they have to like load it. They can't just <laughs> seamless loading times. Oh boy, this is my favorite. So Castle Town Central Square. So wait, what is over here? Can we talk to these guys? <laughs> Let's see. Because of the water outage, they can't take any drink orders. I think that's fine. You've been drinking too much juice recently, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Okie dokie. This water just continues, so someone won't be able to relax with a cup of tea. You know what, the cup of... No tea? Such is life nowadays. God, you guys take things for granted so much. You guys care about tea? What about the people who actually need water? What about the people who need to live? Ugh. But now here we are East Road. We can go ahead and head out of here. Because there's nothing really much for us left here in Hyrule Castle Town, which is such a weird thing. Like, that'd be weird. Like, calling Washington, like, Washington, D.C., Washington, like, the White House Town or something. I don't know. It's like, that's weird. Alright. Man, I wanted him to fall off. We can't do finishing moves with the wolf, unfortunately. So you're dead. And you're dead. Alright. Yeah! Hopefully that doesn't come to bite us in the ass one of these days. So, with that all being said and done, let's head over here because this is where we have to go next. Very nice. And these weird ass things that we just destroyed there. And, I don't know about you guys, but I've always, like... I don't know. This kind of con contradicts what I said in my Majora's Mask LP, but I just like water levels. And this is the wrong way. God damn it. This is the wrong way. We don't want to come here yet. There's a chest there, as you can tell. But I just accidentally went the wrong way. We have to actually go directly to the right on our map. I always I always do that for whatever reason. Let's head over here. Actually continue the way we are. I actually started going here when I was talking about something. I don't even know. I get on so many tangents when I when I LP. But I guess that's better than not talking about anything. I mean, as you, as you guys know, it's probably better to actually have talking. Like, it's always... I don't know. I wouldn't say it's annoying. It's just kind of like... I mean, I know it's difficult to expect people to always be talking in an LP, but to have, like, a minute of empty space while a person is concentrating on doing something is not exactly the most interesting thing to watch. Like, I'm not trying to single anyone out or anything. I'm just saying that, in my opinion, it's better to just, you know, have kind of a conversation you can maintain with yourself uh, if you're recording or something, or at least rehearse it. That's what I usually do. I spend my free time. <laughs> Rehearsing what I'm gonna say in LP episodes because I do practice these quite a while like I'm not gonna say where I am on my practice file But I'm gonna say right now. We're definitely not here. This is done a really long time ago So I'm pretty much going off of memory and once you let that knowledge of your you know prior playthrough sink in for a bit It's actually gonna it actually stays surprisingly well, which is kind of nice because I don't know It's nice just because you know how like when you leave something and then you come back to it later You'll be a little bit better at it. That's kind of how LP is so, Lake Hylia's newest hangout. Fire, fire, really? Fire. And Falby's water top. Land of fantastication, you know. Stream of Californication. Head left for the flight by Fal, main attraction. We're not going to bother with that quite yet because we are wolf. And that sounds like something we're going to want to deal with on a um, you know, more intellectual level. But here is an amazing bridge. Oh my god. So here's the great bridge of Hylia. Look at that, you guys. This is not Lord of the Rings, but that looks epic as all hell. Oh, wow. Here we are. Wait, Lake Hylia? Is that you? Oh my god. Wow. 
That is terrible, you guys. The entire lake has been reduced to basically a puddle, and that's just, that's so sad, you guys. Like, I don't know. Anyway, here we've got this, hmm, it seems kind of dark and wet here. I hope that doesn't, you know, come bite us in the ass later. But let's go through it before anything bad happens. Hey, do you smell anything funny? He's like, well, I'm a wolf. What do you expect? <laughs> like, he just starts sniffing around. He's like, I don't know if I smell it over this highly toxic oil, but I'll just ignore it for now because I'm sure nothing bad's going to happen. <laughs> oh, my God, the slight camera zoom. Oh, my God, Shadow Book of Lynn. Oh, my God, no. Hellfire. In my face? Oh my god, wait. Oh, don't hit the camera! And... Wow, that guy was strangely accurate. Oh my god, no! Well, we have to hurry forward before he attacks us. Oh no, wait, no, what are you doing? Oh my god, you asshole! Oh my god, you guys. Oh no, we're trapped! Get out of here! Dude, we're trapped! You guys, this is the end. I'm sorry. Sorry to have to do this, but this is where the LP's gonna end, unfortunately. Looks like with the end of Link here, well... It's like we have to, if we're going to die, might as well, you know, kill ourselves. Oh, wait a minute. Just kidding. Here we are in Lake Hylia. Ah, very nice. So it looks like we landed into the tiny puddle that is Lake Hylia. For, and for some reason, in there, woo! 10 out of 10. Encore. Encore. Phew, that was a close one. We're lucky there was a puddle down below, huh? Yes, it's a puddle of mud. Ugh. So this is Lake Hylia, but there's so little water. It sounds like the Spirit Spring could be nearby here as well. Anyway, let's take a look around. Yes, but um, unfortunately, let's go talk to these guys. Oops, I said these guys. Oh my god, hey, Zoras! Hey, buddy, how you doing? The drop in water has been faster than predicted. At this rate, Lake Hylia will dry up. It's a race against time. I really, really like the way they look in this. They look a lot more like, I don't know, awesome, in my opinion. We've had absolutely no water flowing from upstream. There's no mistaking it. Something must have happened at the water source in our home, Zora's Domain. Yet, how are we supposed to return upstream to our home? With the way things are now, we can't even walk back there. Yes, that's quite unfortunate. Huh. I wonder what's over here. There's a strange house over here. And there's the red thing that we're going to have to go to over there in a minute, but... Over here, we've got... This guy looks weird. Ugh, I'm getting too old for this shit. Fire and Falvey's water top land of fantastic... Fa fa fantastication. It's our grand reopening at our new lake bottom location. We... Uh, yeah, nice lake. Don't lakes have more, I don't know, water? Did the Zoras who live up river do something? Yeah, blame the Zoras because they're the one who occupy that locality. Or is it a curse from that spirit who floats around up there? Ooh. Well, thank you for that very nice piece of information. Many people would have killed one another for that simple piece of knowledge. Whatever. It's not like I can go up there and complain. That's way too high. Man, I should have just stayed in clowning school, but it's not 1990 anymore, so it's unfashionable. God, hippie. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Was that a customer? Uh, the, yikes, it's a monster! Okay. So, we're gonna go take that guy out in a minute, but that's all we're gonna do in this episode of Twilight Princess. Yes, an outro. What do you guys think this is? An entire extended episode? I don't know, but, um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Next time, we're gonna go explain, explain, explore Lake Hylia, talk to the Spirit Elden, and get some Tears of Light. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will talk to you guys next time on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Oh, man. I wish I could chase my tail. That'd be cool. Eh. Whatever. I'll see you guys later. Hey.